Welcome to the latest version of the Newman motor with the bottom part of the coils reduced in width. I did this by removing a screw that was inside the, uh, the between the rotor and the bearings. And it was taking up space and it wouldn't let me center the uh, rotor inside this housing. So I got rid of that, uh, I, well I relocated that screw to be to hold the uh, the bearings on the other side. So now I have tighter magnetic connections down here and up here. So the coil overall is stronger, which means I have more torque. There's more work this rotor can do each revolution. Now as a result, I'm not needing as much current as I normally do. Here we have 0.07 to 0.01. Then we have an occasional spike. But overall, 0.08 to 0.01. This is a little bit less than my previous video. Yet, we have more winds per revolution due to the stronger connections. So, now, I'm going to try to get it to one, within one inch of the fan, just like in the previous video. Now, if I hold the camera still, you might be able to see a movement over here. Like that. Okay. Now, at elbow's length, here's the rotor. And the wind, right there. over here this is actually more movement in the previous video now if we want to go ahead and check the RPM there's a way to do it that's not that accurate but for these low RPMs it should be okay now what I use is my cell phone which has a stopwatch and I'll go ahead and count the time The time we have is 9 seconds for 20 revolutions. So, 20 revolutions every 9 seconds. How many 9 seconds are there in 60 seconds? This many. And we'll go ahead, we'll just multiply by 20. Right. So right now, we got 133 RPM. So, number one, the wind is nearly as strong as it was in the previous video when it was going 150. Now how is that if this fan is going at 133? Well, the reason is, is because I increased the strength of the rotor. Now, this is the, the same rotor the, that, had, that has five coils over here. Five coils. One, two, three, four, five. But only this half 
of this coil is being used and the, this proves it. These wires here are not in series like the rest of the wires. So they're excluded. And the way I have them cut off is so that they won't create as much magnetic drag as they would if they were in a closed circuit. Now the current I'm drawing right now is showing from 0.07 to 0.01. You can say the average current is 0 0.04. Now what is our voltage? Our voltage is 293 volts as shown in the 1000 volt setting.